Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Choi and today I'm going to teach you about cubic tofosa in a very simple manner. Yeah? So about this topic, there are a few things that you need to know, the location, boundaries, contents and the clinical application. So where is the location of the cubic tofosa? Okay, cubic tofosa is a triangular depression which is located anterior to your uh, elbow joint. Okay, so this is the base of the triangle. Okay, this base of the triangle, this base of the triangle, okay, is bounded by an imaginary line between the medial epicondyle and lateral epicondyle of the humerus. Okay. Next is the medial boundary. So this is the medial boundary. So the medial boundary of the cubital fossa is by this muscle here called pronator teres. Okay? And the lateral boundaries of the cubital fossa is by the brachioradialis. Okay? So how do I remember? PM, yeah? PM, Prime Minister, okay, BL, okay, so Prime Minister is the best leader, alright, so these are the three uh, structures that forms the boundaries of the cubital fossa. Next, we talk about the contents, about, uh, the contents of the cubital fossa, so there are four contents here, so number one is these structures here called the median nerve okay the second structure is the brachial brachial artery which will later branch into the uh, ulna artery and also the radial artery the next structure here is the bicep tendon okay and Sorry, here. Okay, and the next structure is the radial nerve. Okay, so how to remember the contents from the medial to the lateral? Okay, so for the medical course, what course you are in? So you are in the MBBS course, right? So I want to change the name of your course into MBBR. So the MBBR is the contents of the cubital fossa started from the medial. Eh? M is the medial, so you started off with the medial nerve, B, brachial artery, B again, bicep tendon, R is your radial nerve. So these are the four main contents of the cubital fossa. Next, okay, I would like to talk about the floor. Okay, so the floor, it has two, yeah? So it has the medial floor and the lateral floor of the cubital fossa. So medially, okay, it is formed by the brachialis muscle. Okay, and laterally is by the supinator muscle. Yeah, so B for the M. Okay, bahasa Melayu. So brachialis is the mid. Brachialis is the muscle. Okay, at the medial side of the. Uh, at the, the, the uh, brachialis is the muscle that forms the, the medial floor of the cubital fossa and the supinator is the muscle that forms the lateral part of the floor of the cubital fossa. Okay, so next we have already have the boundaries, we have the floor, we have the contents. One more thing is missing is the roof, okay? So for the roof which covers the entire cubital fossa, okay, so the roof, okay, consists of number one is the skin okay and number two followed by the superficial fascia and number three is the deep fascia and number four is the uh, bicipital aponeurosis yeah? okay so in the superficial fascia Okay, it contains a few more structures, okay, which is all your superficial nerve, all your superficial veins. For example, you have your cephalic vein, your uh, cephalic vein, uh, basilic vein, the medial cubi uh, cubital veins, okay, and two more nerve, which is the medial uh, cutaneous nerve of forearm and also the lateral cutaneous nerve of the forearm. 
Next is some of the clinical importance about the uh, cubic fossa here. Okay, so there are two important clinical applications for this. As you know, the roof, okay, one of the structures that form the roof of the cubital fossa is the median uh, cubital veins. So that is the vein that usually we did the venous puncture. And secondly is to locate for the brachial, plow, brachial pulse from the brachial artery. So this is the region where we often put the stethoscope to locate for the uh, blood pressure. Yeah. Alright, so with that, thank you very much and have a nice day.